welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I moisturise my natural hair. I keep my hair in mini twists, so I'm certainly on this kind of protective style challenge at the moment. So I flip between really mini twists or medium sized twists like this. But you can see it's super flat now you know, all squashed and frizzy. I tend to moisturize my hair every three or so days and I have noticed that keeping my hair in a protective style has made it retain a lot more moisture. So that is a top tip for you if you are struggling with moisture. Try some form of protective style. However, it is colder now. I've got the central heating on. There's a lot of things that are fighting to dry out my hair again. So that is something that I also do daily just to keep the softness and suppleness of my hair. I've just pinned up the back and this side. So we're just gonna work on this quarter. I'm simply gonna be retwisting my hair. So let's start with this first twist at the back. I always start with some form of water or water-based leave-in. And typically if it's a water-based leave-in, it will be a spray like this one by Root Tip. It's the detangling leave-in conditioner. The first ingredient is water. The next ingredient is aloe vera juice. I like to spray the twist down first. That'll help me undo it so that I'm not getting caught because when your hair is really dry, if I try to undo it dry, I'd just be causing myself a nightmare and breakage. So I just spray the twist down to begin with. I'm also really spraying at the roots there. Unraveling, untwisting with my fingertip there. Then I can break it apart. And I can undo it. See? I'm gonna go back in with the spray to make sure it's thoroughly, I wouldn't say saturated, but really covered with the moisturizing ingredient. I'm just working that through. My moisturizing technique, if you will, is something that I call up the ladder and down the pole. So it's like I'm kind of almost squeezing that moisture in and just making sure it's getting there. And then I spread it between prayer hands to really ensure all of the strands are coated. I'll gently take out any shed hairs that wish to come out, but I'm not detangling my hair today. That's not what we're about to get into. <laughs> the next step in my moisturizing routine, it kind of flips between the two. I either do butter first, which is oil basically, and then the cream, or I do the moisturizing cream first, whichever. But today I think I'm gonna start with the moisturizing cream. The two products that I really, really love are Root to Tip Quench Anti-Breakage Cream. It's nearly finished. It's like hardly any left in there. And the Anita Grant Curl Conditioning Double Cream. And that's the same, that's nearly finished as well. But it's not just the fact that both of these products are so beautifully naturally based, but it's the texture of them that I really, really love. So you can see with that Anita Grant one, it's this thick cream. And you see the same with the anti-breakage cream. They're both super thick creams that are really just not going anywhere. And I really think that really works for my hair texture. Spread it out onto my hands, up the ladder, and down the pole. Always like to add a bit extra to the ends, obviously the oldest part of the hair. And then finally, I'm working in my own shea butter mix, just a fingertips worth in the same fashion. This is completely just made up of oils and oils only, no water in there, and that's what's going to trap the moisture in my hair for longer. And the same process. And once I'm satisfied, it's simply a two strand twist to victory. <laughs> So starting with the same process again, spraying my hair down with water or watery leave-in, moisturizing cream. And sealing, healing butter.
So that's all done and that is typically how I moisturise my hair in the middle of the week. On a daily basis I will actually do a spritz on my hair just to keep that softness and suppleness. So I do that by taking my spray bottle, this just has water inside, nothing else. So I will just spritz over my hair really casually, focusing on the ends and then just spritzing around here. And then I will simply take any oil that I have to hand. I do absolutely love the Afrocentrix Seal 100% Natural Oil. Um, and I love the applicator bottle as well. Just needs like half to one pump of oil. Rub that in my hands like so. And then literally I'm just spreading it over. And again doing that kind of squeezing motion. Obviously I'm not running my hands like this because I'm trying to maintain the twist neatness. And this is what I do as part of my night routine to maintain my twists and the moisture of my hair. My last tip would be to not wait until your hair gets dry before you're moisturizing your hair because if it's already dry, it's already breaking off. So go that step before when you're kind of like, hmm, my hair's starting to lose its suppleness and its softness, re-moisturize your hair. Don't even bother letting it get super dry before you think, oh, now's the time that I'll add some water and oil. But that is how I moisturize my hair. Let me know how you moisturize your hair down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.